Hello there, this will be my updated dolphin guide for 2022. Um, this guide is going to be very different from my last one. This guide will not require a tap adapter, which was up until this year, just of, about a few months ago. Um, you no longer need a tap adapter to connect online. I'm going to show you how to do that. So you want to navigate to Dolphin's uh, website. I'll have this in the video description. You want to look for the development version. Be just a bit down. You want to look for any version after this one. 5.0-16838. And you'll have here added built-in device that allows BBA emulation. Eventually they'll have a new beta version. I'm making this in July of 2022. So, you know, in about a month from now, they'll probably have a new beta version. You can just grab that one. But for now, and for the time being, you can grab this version right here. So I've already gone ahead and downloaded this. It's right here. I also uh, have not updated yet. So as you can see here, I have a lot of debug versions here that we can just ignore. Um, so yeah, all you're going to do is just drag your new EXE from the download, replace it. It's going to ask if it needs per permission. You're also going to download these, uh, or not download, but you'll also include these QT files as well. Continue. Yes do this for all okay so now if we did this right we can just straight up open dolphin perfect it opens now the new thing that you need to switch to is in configuration go to GameCube and you want to look at this SP1 you're no longer going to be using this broadband tap adapter you're going to be using the built-in so switch to that you're also going to click on this over here and you're going to put the desired DNS that you want to connect to whatever server you're trying to go to. So if you're trying to go to ShitServe, you would put this IP here. So we're going to do that. It might, if you've never had this version before, it might default to that. So just keep that in mind. And then we start up. Now, if you already have a save and you have a network file already, um, you no longer need to go into that network file to change servers anymore. It is all controlled from the interface in the, uh, the Dolphin window here. So just keep that in mind. So if you don't have a network file at all, all you need to do is just fill out the basic information that it asks you to, and you'll be set to go. So we're going to confirm and then we're just going to connect straight online. And just note, I don't have a tap adapter here at all. I don't have a tap adapter. I don't have a bridge. I have nothing. And sure enough, we make it online right away. And here we are. Everything should work much better. Quest should load much faster than when you have the tap adapter version. Uh, obviously, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Take care and enjoy the new version.